Okay, so now let's talk about OpenFORM, right? So how do you install OpenFORM? Well, the easiest method that we have observed so far is to use VirtualBox and use Linux. So the first thing you need to do is you basically need a software called VirtualBox, which is free to download. It, this VirtualBox software helps you to run um, a different operating system in your computer, right? So that's great. Then you get Ubuntu, which is one distribution of Linux. And then you download OpenFORM from standard repos. Uh, repo stands for repositories. And um, that process is fairly easy. You just have to copy and paste a bunch of commands and it usually works very well. Let's actually do a small demo, right? So first, this is this right here is a virtual box. So for example, uh, you know, if I just uh, show here, if you are following my mouse, you can see that that is a, oh, a virtual box. And uh, if you have at least four GB of RAM, you should be able to install this. So let me just log in and I'll kind of walk through uh, the operating system a little bit because you need to use some command line tools. All right, so this is uh, Ubuntu. It looks very much like Windows. You have folders and stuff. You can just open that and go to the place that you want and then deal with it. But then the, the fundamental idea behind using Linux is, especially when you're dealing with CAE related software, from a navigation point of view, from a simulation point of view, it it is you bet it is better to use a command a command line interface so with a command line interface what you can do is you can navigate to different folders for example pwd tells me where you, where i am currently i am in om sarang and if i type in the list command ls then it tells me the files and folders that are present in this particular directory right so uh, if i go to open form i can type in cd open and then hit the tab key to auto complete and I'll go to open form folder and you can see that there are some files here. Now, as far as uh, open form is considered, you have a lot of aliases, meaning there are shortcuts. So if I type in form, that will basically take me to the open forms installation folder. And if I type in LS, you will see the critical folders that you need to be aware of. Uh, Kalyan, I downloaded it from CFD support and downloaded open form for windows. Is it okay? I mean, as long as it works for you, that's fine. I personally don't care which uh, version you use. So I just make sure that you're able to run some simple cases, Kalyan, maybe run the IcoForm tutorial. If you're able to work, if you're able to do that, that's fine. So here, if you look at it, um, there are critical folders. And from a beginner point of view, you need to be looking at tutorials folder. Uh, you need to be looking at the applications folder and maybe the SRC folder. And the nice thing about OpenForm is it's all about shortcuts. So for example, this is my current folder. Now, if I go to my home folder and if I just type in TUT short form for tutorials, it's going to take me to the tutorials folder. And how would you use open form? So typically before you use open form, it would be great if you have a good understanding of CFD. That is the first requirement, meaning you need to know, for example, if I'm talking about things like, okay, let's do an incompressible flow simulation in a pipe at this particular Reynolds number, we're going to be doing a steady state simulation. If I'm saying this statement, you need to understand that statement 100%. If you are in that level, then go for it. So then the second step is to think of a problem to solve. Typically, you, you don't learn open form for just trying out some examples. You learn it for solving or attacking a particular type of a problem, which could be like, okay, my aim is to simulate flow over a truck or my aim is to simulate flow over a cylinder, right? Then what would be the best example? Well, you need to ask questions like, okay, is my flow going to be compressible or incompressible, right? With that process, open form has been made. So if I go to tutorials, you can see that there are incompressible flows, multi-phase flow. Multi-phase is where you have more than two, uh, two, uh, two fluids, or two phases, sorry. Heat transfer simulations, electromagnetic simulations, combustion simulations, and so on. So it is a good idea to just go to the basic simulations or the basic folder to kind of understand what's going on, but you don't have to do it. So I prefer personally, like, you know, for example, always start with the incompressible flow, which is kind of what open, official open form wiki page also recommends. Here, what I like to do is I'm going to this particular uh, tutorial called as IcoForm. Well, what does it mean? What does IcoForm mean, right? So here, <coughs> When you go inside the incompressible folder, that means you will have a set of tutorials where the fluid flow is always incompressible. Meaning you can still have air flowing, 
but the mac number is very low that you are using an incompressible flow solver